question of who was the biggest living crocodilian to ever live is something that has captivated the minds of many for several years. However, it is hard to imagine that millions of years ago, these creatures reached sizes that could be deemed unimaginable, sizes that could allow some species to hunt and kill large dinosaurs. But which of these extinct giants were the absolute biggest? Which species was the true king of the crocs? For this video, the species we will analyze will fall within the superorder Crocodilomorpha, which not only includes the modern order Crocodilia, but all crocodile-like reptiles. Within the superorder, there are three giants who are often claimed to be the longest and or heaviest. This is simply because they have the most evidence to prove their size, as well as them being more popular species that people want to focus on more. However, there are several other species beyond these three that have been theorized to reach larger sizes. Here are a few of them. First up is Astorgosuchus bugtiensis, a crocodile which lived in the late Oligocene. Estimates for its maximum length have been up to 26 feet. However, there are some that believe it could have been up to 39 feet, given the fact that there was a large piece of mandible existing from this species. However, the length up to 39 feet is highly unlikely. The next is Eutheconon brumpti, a crocodilian which lived in Neogene. Based on its huge skull, a size estimate of 33 feet as the maximum length of this species is what's believed. Another large animal is Ramphosuchus crassidens, a species of Gaviella that lived during the Pliocene. Previous estimates led to beliefs that this species could have been 50 to 60 feet long. This was based on comparing its proportions to Indian gharials. However, more recent estimates believe the animal to be smaller, at 26 to 36 feet long. The next species is perhaps one of, if not the greatest estimated length tied to an extinct crocodilomorph. Aegisuchus whitmeri, a crocodilomorph from the late Cretaceous, was believed to be anywhere from 49 to 72 feet in length. This was based on the large fossilized brain case of the species, and comparing the estimated skull length to Indian gharials and saltwater crocodiles to find the length. However, the length stated here, especially ones on the higher end, are highly unlikely to be accurate. So after mentioning these species, let's get to the big three who are most likely to be the largest species. The genus Sarcosuchus is a group of large crocodiliforms that lived during the early Cretaceous. They are characterized by the longer, somewhat thinner snout with a larger end towards the nostrils. This creates a noticeable overbite towards the front of the jaw. While the jaws of Sarcosuchus are thinner compared to other large crocs, it was still believed to be capable of taking down large prey, such as dinosaurs. Of the known species of Sarcosuchus, the longest and largest is considered to be Sarcosuchus imperator. This species is also known to have the longest skull in the genus, with a dorsal cranial length of nearly 5 feet. In this 2001 paper, the length of Sarcosuchus imperator was estimated based on skull length, with equations meant for the Indian gharial and saltwater crocodile as the basis of these estimates. Based on these, the maximum length of this species was believed to be 36 to 39 feet long. Based on an equation for saltwater crocodiles, it was also predicted that a Sarcosuchus imperator between 37 and 38 feet had a weight of 8 metric tons. These size estimates aid to this creature's nickname of supercroc. However, a study released in 2019 led to different conclusions. This study based its length and mass off the head widths in living crocodilians. Based on this, Sarcosuchus imperator was estimated to have a length of up to 29 to 31 feet. As for the weight, it was predicted the species' weight ranged from 3 to 4 metric tons. Therefore, the true size of this creature is a little up in the air. The next species are in the genus Dinosuchus. Dinosuchus were large species within the superfamily Alligatoroidea, which lived during the late Cretaceous. They are believed to have had a diet varying from large sea turtles to dinosaurs. The largest within this genus is the species Dinosuchus riograndensis, or Dinosuchus hatcheri. There is some evidence that riograndensis and hatcheri are the same species. For the sake of this video, I will be referring to the largest specimen slash species as riograndensis. Initially, the maximum length for the species was 50 feet long, with a weight of around 15 tons. That was because of this very famous reconstruction of the Dinosuchus skull shown in the American Natural History Museum. Although only parts of it were made up of true fossils, this was what many thought Dinosuchus looked like. However, it would later be discovered that the species skull looked more like this, and was smaller than what was initially guessed. Later estimates for Dinosuchus riograndensis, based on skulls, found a max length of 40 to 41 feet long. These were based on two separate equations that predict American alligator and saltwater crocodile lengths, based on head length as a factor. 
In addition, David Schwimmer, a paleontologist who wrote a detailed book on the species, estimated the length of about 40 feet based on the dorsal vertebrae. This was done by comparing large vertebrae to modern alligators and other Dinosuchus fossils estimated to be about 26 feet long. Other fragmentary remains of this species could prove lengths of almost 43 feet, but this is not very concrete. However, many estimates have put the max length of this species as around 32 feet long. This is based on smaller fossils, but these are more relatively complete. In 2018, Schwimmer said that while maximum lengths are estimated to be 36 to 45 feet long, 40 feet is a good round number. Schwimmer also believed that a 39-footer had a weight of 8.5 tons, with this being based on an equation for saltwater crocodiles. The next and most recent of these beasts is Purosaurus, which were gigantic species of caiman that lived during the Miocene. Other than its obviously large snout, its nasal cavity is absurdly large, making its skull unique compared to other crocodilians. The largest species in this genus is Purosaurus brasiliensis. Although skulls are the only main fossil evidence of this species, they indicate animals of enormous size. A study in 2015 estimated the maximum size of Purosaurus brasiliensis could have ranged from about 32 feet to 51 feet, with a weight ranging from 5.6 to 12.6 metric tons. These estimates were based on using the living broad snout it came in to compare the fossils to. However, the study stated that a length of 41 feet and a weight of 8.4 metric tons is the likely size of this animal. However, a study from 2022 stated the size of the species could have been smaller. Using equations based on head width and skull length, an estimated length of 30 to 32 feet was obtained, along with 3.9 to 4.9 metric tons being the estimated weight. However, it should be noted that the 2022 study did not include the largest known mandible of Purosaurus brasiliensis. So based on everything stated here, who do I think is the true king of the crocs? My honest opinion is, I don't know. In fact, I think the better way of saying it is that no one really knows. The thing with fossils is that while we are definitely understanding these animals better over time, we're never going to really definitively know the maximum size of these animals, given the fact they died so long ago. Therefore, we'll never get a concrete claim like this is definitely the number one candidate for larger species. With that being said, these three species that I've mentioned here still deserve to be known as the overall largest of the known extinct species. Who knows? Maybe over time we'll find a near-complete specimen which will shed light on the size these giants got to. But for now, based on the information I've given, let me know in the comments who you think is the biggest. To learn more about the animals you just saw, buy my book, What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians. It examines claims of giant crocodiles, a World War II massacre, their regenerating tails, alligators and sewers, their record land speeds, and more. The book looks at a variety of subjects many people, including experts, get wrong about these animals, and I desperately wanted to dispel the myths that have persisted so long. Buy What We Get Wrong About Crocodilians in physical or digital formats. Link in bio, comments, or description to buy.